Yes, yes, sure, your boy Saint Leo. And this time around, we are on to a brand new episode of the Rising Star exclusive channel. So this time around, we've got a lot of gist, a lot of uh, entertainment, information, and sports. You know what, what happened recently, based on the, all what we see is that you have been knocked out of the board. The news is coming. So, but it's not a bad thing to exercise what is going to come in this news. So, guys, I want you to subscribe, like, and share this information because we are right in and it's going to be a bomb. See you in the next episode, yo. David hails Rema as the most viewed Nigerian artist on YouTube. Afrobe star Davido has heaped praises on his younger colleague Rema, calling him the most viewed Nigerian artist on YouTube. In a recent video, Davido said that Rema has broken numerous records, including having the most viewed on YouTube videos. He also praised Rema for his talent and his ability to connect with fans. Rema's video has been viewed over 1 billion times on YouTube, making him the most viewed Nigerian artist on the platform. His most popular popular video calm down has over 200 million views rema's success is a testament to his talent and his ability to connect with fans he has a unique sound that blends afrobeat with trap and r&b and his lyrics are often relatable and introspective davido's praise for rema is a sign of respect from one of the biggest stars in nigeria music it's also a testament to rema's growing popularity with his unique sound and his ability to connect with fans rema is poised to become one of the biggest stars in afrobeat Second most popular video do maybe has over 150 million views. He has 10 videos with over 50 million views each. He has over 10 million subscribers on YouTube. And also his music has been streamed over 1 billion times on Spotify. Rema is a rising star in Nigerian music and his success on YouTube is a testament to his talent and his ability to connect with fans. He is sure to continue to be a force in the Afrobeat scene for years to come. Kanye West Twitter account being restored. Kanye West back on Twitter after pledge to refrain from hateful content. Kanye West Twitter account has been restored after being suspended in December 2022 for violating the platform policy on hateful content. The suspension came after West posted a series of tweets that we deemed to be anti-Semitic. West account was restored on Saturday, July 29, after he reportedly agreed to refrain from posting hateful content in the future. The decision to restore West account was made made by Elon Musk, who acquired Twitter earlier this month. Musk has said that he wants to make Twitter a platform for free speech, but he also said that he will not tolerate hate speech. It remains to be seen whether West will be able to abide by Musk's terms. The restoration of West's account is a sign that Musk is serious about his comment to free speech on Twitter. It also raises concern for the platform's ability to moderate hate speech. West is a controversial figure who has a history of making inflammatory statements. It is possible that he will use his restored account to continue to spread hate speech. If that happens, it will be up to Musk and Twitter moderators to decide whether to take action. The restoration of West's account is a victory for the rapper who has been outspoken about his desire to return to the Twitter. However, it remains to be seen whether he will be able to use his platform responsibly. West has a history of making erratic and offensive statements on Twitter. If he continues to do so, it is possible that he could be suspended again. Overall, the restoration of Kanye West's Twitter account is a misbag. It's a sign that Musk is serious about free speech, but also raises concern about the platform ability to moderate hate speech. Only time will tell whether West will be able to use his restored account responsibly. Artists who attended Whiskey More Loveless Ego Concert. Whiskey More Loveless Ego Concert at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was a studded event with many notable artists in attendance. Some of the artists who were seen at the concert include Wandeko, Masego, Skylar Tyler, The Caveman, DJ Tunes, Shea Vibes, Lars, Daku, MS Banks, Asena Bukayo, Saka, Everton, Alice Wood. The concert was a historic moment for African music as Whiskey become the first African artist to headline a concert at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The event was a celebration of Afro beats with Whiskey and the other artists performing some of their biggest hits. The concert was a huge success with fans from all over the world in attendance. It was a night to remember for Whiskey, the other artists and the fans and it is sure to be a highlight in the history of African music. The concert was so 
sold out with over 60,000 people in attendance and it lasted for over three hours. Whiskey performed some of his biggest hits, include Oju Elegba, Essence, and Soko. The concert was streamed live on YouTube with over 1 million viewers. The More Love Less Ego concert was a landmark event for African music and it is sure to be remembered for years to come. Davido music video, four-time entertainer raised religious eyebrows. Nigeria singer Davido has been in the news recently after he was criticized for a music video that some people found to be disrespectful to Islam. The video for the song logos fisher men in white robes dancing in a mosque-like setting. People felt that the video was inappropriate as it depicts religious figure in a way that is not respectful. This is not the first time that an entertainer has raised religious eyebrow with their music video. In 2015, singer Tiwa Savage was uh, criticized for a video for her song Love Me Like You Do. The video featured Savage dancing in a church which some people felt was disrespectful to Christianity. In 2016, singer Whiskey was criticized for a video for his song Come Closer. The music video featured Whiskey and a woman dancing in a secret groove which some people felt was disrespectful to traditional African religion. While in 2017, singer Yemi Alade was criticized for a video video for her song Johnny. The video featured Alade dancing in a mosque which some people felt was disrespectful to Islam. These are just a few examples of times when entertainers have raised religious eyebrows with their music videos. It is important to note that not everyone who has a religion objective to a music video will voice their opinion. However, when these objectives are voiced, it can lead to controversy and debate. What do you think? Is it inappropriate for entertainers to use religious imagery in in their music video Super Falcon secure last 16 place with draw in Brisbane. The Super Falcon of Nigeria secured their place in the last 16th of the 2023 FIFA Women World Cup with a goalless draw against the Republic of Ireland in Brisbane on Monday. The draw was enough for Nigeria to finish second in Group B behind co-host Australia. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ireland earned their first ever World Cup point on clean sheets. The Super Falcon had the better of the chances in the first half but they were unable to find a way past Irish goalkeeper Grace Molony. The second half was more evenly contested, but neither side was able to break the deadline. The draw means Nigeria will face the third place team from Group A in the last 16. That team could be any of France, Brazil, South Korea, or Vietnam. The Super Falcon will be hoping to go one better than their previous best performance at the World Cup when they reached the quarterfinals in 1999. The Republic of Ireland made history on Monday by earning their first ever World Cup point and clean sheet. Ireland earned first ever ever World Cup point and clean sheet. The Irish drew 0-0 with the Super Falcon of Nigeria in Brisbane, a result that was enough to secure their place in the knockout stage. It was a hard, tough draw with both teams creating chances. However, neither side was able to find a breakthrough and the match ended in a stalemate. The draw was a major achievement for the Irish who had never previously won a point or kept a clean sheet at the World Cup. Dead by Daylight developer teaser crossover with Alien franchise. Behavior Interactive The developer of the symmetrical horror game Dead by Daylight has a teased a crossover with the sci-fi horror film franchise Alien. The teaser which was posted on the game official Twitter account featured a brief clip of a xenomorph, the iconic creature from the Alien movie, stalking through a dark hallway. The teaser doesn't reveal any other detail about the crossover, such as which a character or location from the Alien franchise will be featured in the game. However, it is clear that fans of both Dead by Daylight and Aliens are excited about the prospect of a crossover. The twist announcing the crossover has already received over 10,000 likes and over 2,000 retweets. Many fans have expressed their excitement in their comments with some even saying that they are already planning to start saving up for the DLC. Behavior Interactive has not yet announced a release date for the Alien crossover. However, the teaser does say that more news will be coming on August 8th. So alien fans will have to wait a little while longer.
longer to find out more. In the meantime, they can keep themselves entertained by playing the dead by daylight and trying to survive against the other killers in the game. Or they can watch the earlier movie again to get themselves in the mood for the crossover. Yes, 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 your boy St. Liu. Please welcome back for the episode of the Rising Stars Entertainment News. I hope you guys enjoy what you saw in this news. We got a lot of packages for you next week, and we are planning for the best to come in the entertainment world. So please don't hesitate to endeavor to watch the next episode because we are going to give you the best of the best of entertainment gist. Stay tuned, my guys and my brother and my sisters. But right about now, I want to give you a word that is really, really serious for all of us right now. Christ came to die for us at the cross of Calvary. He paid for our sins, right? He died for us to have life because we are all sinners before God. So Christ came and gave us life. I want you all to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, please. Because if you don't accept Christ, you die and go to hell. Cry, heaven is real. I want you all to accept Christ. And that is the only way. Please, I'll see you in the next episode of the program. God bless you. I'm your boy, St. Leo. Peace out.